we're going to go over the Arden Mesh Network, just a brief overlay of what uh, uh, it's all about, just to kind of give a new uh, ham, uh, basic introduction into uh, what it's about and typically what your your average guy here in Medford would, uh, would have uh, in his shack for a nominal cost. So here we go. Let's check this out. Okay, so once you've got the radio and antenna deployed on your roof, your fence, your tree, wherever you want to put it, and you've got it attached to your POE, your power over ethernet uh, power, uh, basically you hook it up to your computer and you'll get a screen like what we're looking at right now through your typical internet browser. Now I am not hooked up right now to the internet. I basically got what you can see here is uh, this is my internet connection right here and I do not have it connected and I have uh, connect automatically unchecked. Uh, if I want to connect all I have to do is hit the connect button and it'll connect to the internet but typically uh, we're not connected to the internet on the uh, mesh network here in the Rogue Valley uh, unless we need to do something on the net. So again basically the uh, web browser you can basically use any web browser I use uh, Firefox and uh, to access the node or your radio uh, outside you will type in to the address uh, pane uh, right here and you'll type in local node l-o-c-a-l-n-o-d-e dot local dot mesh semicolon 8080 slash CGI that's Charlie Golf India dash bin Baker India November slash mesh M-E-S-H okay and that will bring up the screen that you see now and the screen that you see now will show uh, all the radios that you see in your immediate neighborhood which is these guys right here uh, we're missing one right now he's working on it he just went offline right here uh, just a little bit ago um, and you can refresh this list or you can put it on an auto refresh which will continually refresh the numbers so we've got it on auto refresh now and uh, typically what you're looking for is uh, a good link quality a good near link quality and above all good throughput uh, transmission in millibytes per second uh, right now I've got close to 30 uh, th 30 throughput to KC7HEX which is great that's just a, a, a real good throughput and uh, you can do just about anything there uh, another thing that uh, you can do uh, or, or on the left side we've got all the uh, stations that are on the network here I can't see all these stations directly but I can see them through uh, my connections here. So if we're to, I'll stop this here, if we're to scroll down here you can see all these stations in the Rogue Valley uh, that are online right now and there's a bunch of them. There's uh, more and more all the time. And uh, you can click on any one of these and go to their particular uh, uh, radio you could go right to their radio so for instance uh, let's see here if I were to go to uh, let's go to KC KG7 HMZ you just click on that one okay there's KG7 HMZ now if we were to look at his mesh status we can see what he can see there we go mesh status now the only one that he can see right now is this one right here so 
All the rest of them he's got access to, but this is the only one that he can see right now. Now if we were to click on another one, let's see here, let's go with uh, uh, KS7 UMK Nano Station. Let's go with that one. There's KF7 UMK, his nano, and whoops, we'll go to mesh status there. Now, this is all the stations that uh, uh, KF7 UMK can see. These are all in his immediate neighborhood, and uh, the rest of them that he can't see are over here. But uh, these are all the stations that his station can see. Well, he's got a nice location, and he can see uh, lots of people here. So another thing you can do is uh, I'll go back to my node here, N7RBP-BM2, and there's a number of things that uh, you can deploy on your your node or your station. Uh, one of the things is mesh chat. So you go into mesh chat and you click you sign in with your log on your call sign. And now we've got our we're up on mesh chat. And you can see all the uh, the postings that, uh, and this this is a live chat thing too. It's kind of a message board for people who want to leave messages and, and comments. But uh, if you've got more than one person on Mesh Chat, uh, you can just do a regular chat, just like uh, uh, you know, just like all the uh, uh, internet chat things on the internet today. So that's a really cool thing too. Then, again, what you can do, we'll go back to my node here. You can also deploy uh, an IP camera. Uh, I am the only one right now that has an IP camera on the system, and I just did it simply to prove and to show that it can be done. And uh, uh, anybody on the system can click on my IP camera, and there's what my camera sees, and it's basically a, a shot of my shack. Uh, and it's alive. It's live streaming feed 24-7. Uh, and uh, uh, so you can put a camera anywhere you want for security reasons or for, for anything. And uh, have uh, security anytime you click on the camera. You can see what's going on. So that's cool. Now, the next thing uh, that most of us have is the IP phone. Uh, the IP phone is really pretty cool. We'll show you how that's uh, what the scoop is on this. Uh, stand by. Okay, so now here is the IP phone, and uh, it just plugs right into the system. It's a it's an easy plug and play. It's about a three step process, and it uh, it's really cool too. And uh, uh, you can talk via telephone to anybody who's got an IP phone on the system. Uh, one of the nice things that we have here is uh, we've got uh, uh, our we've got a police department. The Central Point Police Department is uh, online. Uh, we've also got uh, uh, with the system, and we've also got our uh, emergency mercy flights, uh, ambulance, uh, helicopter, whatever. If you need an ambulance, uh, boom, uh, grids down. Uh, you can't get through. Uh, our emergency system has a direct line to mercy flights, so that's really cool. Uh, all you got to do is hit the speed dial, or you can just poke in manually the IP number uh, uh, of the particular phone you want. But for instance, you just hit an, a redial here, or not a redial, but a speed dial, and uh, up it comes, and it's just dialing away. Uh, this morning, I think most of the people are uh, uh, out and about and probably not sitting by their IP phone. Right now, we're calling KD6UIH over in Jacksonville, and if he was there, He'd answer it, and we'd uh, uh, be able to have a conversation. So I have all this tied together uh, with a really simple uh, switching system. Uh, these boxes are about uh, I don't know, 15 or 20 bucks. You can get them used all over the place. It's just a Netgear switch. Basically, I have my computer plugged into it. I have my uh, radio, uh, the nano, uh, or excuse me, yeah, the bullet. Uh, up on my mast outside plugged into it and I have my IP camera plugged into it. Uh, so that's basically the uh, the three connections that you see there and that allows me to plug all of them into one source. And then this is the PoE which is 
known as the uh, it's the power source for the radio uh, the bullet which is outside on the mast and uh, that's basically it uh, one cat5 cable goes to the computer and the other one goes up to the uh, uh, radio and the antenna uh, real simple thing and uh, that can be plugged into either AC or a, uh, a battery for battery backup okay and then next and not least this is my uh, my mast with my antenna and uh, right at the bottom of the antenna you can see the bullet radio so as you can see uh, it's a pretty pretty easy setup it's not uh, uh, not anything complicated at all and it's not very expensive either uh, basically you've got your uh, there's a number of different types of radios. Uh, uh, the nano, the nano radio is the most popular. It's because it doesn't require an external antenna. It requires uh, no antenna. Uh, antennas are built in. It's both horizontal and vertical polarized. And uh, the vast majority of the uh, radios that are deployed out there are nanos. Um, I'm using a bullet with the. Uh, uh, large directional antenna because I initially had to go clear across the Rogue Valley to Jacksonville to get my only contact and it worked quite well with the uh, directional antenna but you don't need such an elaborate system to get started uh, as far as antenna and radios go and that in itself wasn't that expensive uh, but basically you got the, uh, the, the, the radio, the nano I think they run about, uh, oh you can get them for now for 60 bucks something like that uh, then you need your uh, Cat5 cable to run the uh, uh, run it down to your computer, uh, and uh, basically a computer, a laptop, or whatever, which most of us have, uh, a PoE which powers the uh, the uh, radio, and if you want an IP phone, uh, that IP phone that I showed you, I think was about sixty nine dollars, sixty five dollars, something like that. Uh, again, not very expensive, and uh, uh, if you've got more than more than that, uh, a, a very inexpensive Netgear switch, so you can plug them all in together, uh, should be able to get all of it done well under $200, uh, between somewhere between 100 and 200 bucks uh, uh, for the basic setup. So, pretty doggone cool, and it's a great emergency system setup for uh, all kinds of emergencies, uh, grid down, and uh, just for playing. Oh, another thing that I forgot to mention was. Uh, there's also, we also, I have the WinLink uh, program installed on the computer, which is an email program uh, that works uh, really well peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, just if some of you uh, are experienced with uh, uh, the WinLink uh, Express, RMS Express, WinLink Express, it's that program that you use. and. Uh, uh, just like email over HF or VHF uh, uh, works on the uh, system just as well. So RMS Express uh, for email. Uh, and then there's much other things that you can do too, many other things that you can do too. So pretty neat system. Just a short rundown of uh, uh, what it's about and how easy you can get into it. Thanks for watching. Bye.